In Eurocode 2, clause 1.6, a list of symbols is given. These symbols are systematically coded in order to prevent confusions in adopting the relevant value in the equations. It can be classified into several groups such as the stress, the modulus or elasticity, the load, the partial factor, the cross-sectional area, and the strength. Of course, there are other symbols which are not listed in these two slides. Based on the list of the symbol here, we can consolidate that the C represents concrete, D represents design, M represent mean, T represent tensile, K represent characteristic, Y represent yield, and W represent the shear reinforcement. The stress is represented by F. The combinations of the symbol here with any of these will give you different parameters. Same goes to the modulus of elasticity E in comparison to the consolidated the reference of the symbols. MNV represent the moment, Asia force and shear force. ED here represent the design value. The partial factors are represented by gamma, C, F, G, Q, M are given here. G and Q represent the permanent actions and variable actions. The cross-sectional area represented by A, S represent the steel, min represent the minimum. As for the strength, it is represented by the epsilon. U represent the ultimate conditions. K represent the characteristics. By consolidating all the symbols in the two slides, we will find that there are capital letters, small letters, and symbols. The meaning carried by these codes are listed here. You may always cross-check the definitions of the symbols according to the clause 1.6.